ahead and did the other high and you guys should have that all set up as well. Again, all I did was just to copy the groups from one into the next and just renamed them. Uh, and as I can see here, I haven't renamed all of these. So let me just change this to I underscore R for the right eye. Just so we don't um, accidentally think that this is the left eye. So yeah, make sure to rename them um, for your own benefit in the future. So now that that is done, um, it's pretty much the same technique for the mouth and for the hands or the gloves and uh, the boots, okay? Uh, so you can do that on your own time. I'm going to do them for myself. Uh, so that means that we'll probably have different designs, but that is okay, right? Because we're not, again, we're not committed to a single character design sheet because <laughs> it doesn't exist, right? Um, so uh, let me just create one other shape for the mouth. So let me open up this and group my layers here. I'm gonna call this mouth shapes. Wait, I don't want it to be in all caps. So I'm gonna go ahead and mouth underscore shapes underscore one. And I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna rename this one to mouth shape two. Well, let me call it shape, right? Uh, instead of shapes. So mouth shape. Um, and I'm going to turn off the first one here and let me just go ahead and create uh, maybe a, a smile like a happy shaped mouth and uh, let me change this make this wider and I'll bring this down All right let your creativity flow at this point and create something that looks appealing to you All right uh, let me move this out here Da, da, da. Move this down a bit, move it over, and um, let me move this out like so. We don't want to change um, too much of the shape, uh, but we do want it to look like an actual smile. I think that should be okay. That is, well, this is okay for me, I think. So let me zoom out and look at that. Uh, that is a wide smile. Uh, I think I'll bring this in a bit. Right. Uh, how far you go is up to you though, it doesn't really matter. And again, we can have multiple shapes, but I'm gonna stop at um, two shapes. All right, so let me turn that on and let me click on the mount group and uh, turn on the Z range. And let's test this out, one, and there we go. And change it back to zero. So we have two mount shapes, all right? So let me hit save. So go ahead and create as many more mouth shapes as you'd like. But uh, I'm only gonna work with two for this. So let me just close this up, close this up. And now the next thing that I wanna do is start making controllers that will allow us to change the different shapes easily. So right here at the head layer, I'm just going to right click, new layer, other, and click on a group. And uh, I'm going to right click again, new layer and click transform. I'm going to go for a rotate layer. So let me drag that into our group there. All right, and uh, where is it? Okay, so it came here. I'm just going to move this over. Let me zoom out and just move this over here. If it's too big, you can just hold down control and make sure that you select the group. So you have both of these selected. And uh, let me move the group control points over here and then just use a scale to scale this down. So we're not actually scaling the arm, um, the rotate, we're scaling the group, right? But as a result, whatever is inside takes on what you do outside, okay? All right, so yeah. And uh, I'm going to be creating a controller for each eyebrows and, uh, well, each eyebrow and each eye and the mouth. And uh, when whenever you create your and the shapes, you would do the same, use the same technique to switch these out as well, all right? Um, but I'm not gonna do that for everything because it's it's kind of redundant now because you, you'll you know how to do it once you see um, these that I'm doing now, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna duplicate the group one, two, three, four, five times to save some time. So Control-C, Control-V, 
right? Well, not five times. I just need five groups. One, two, three, four, and one more, right? And I'm gonna turn off all of these groups here and focus on this one here. All right, so we're working with the left brow. So let me go into the head layer here, open up the face and click on the left brow. And in its properties, what we wanna do is we want to um, export the Z range position over into our library. And to do that, first we need to convert this. So right click, convert integer and open this up and where it says link, you want to click on this and let me open up my library area so that we can see whenever it gets exported. I'm just going to right click the link, export value, and I'm going to give this a name. So I'm just going to call this bro shape um, shapes. Well, let me actually call this left bro shape, left underscore bro shapes. The name is entirely up to you, uh, but export. And there we have the left brow shapes exported to our library here. Now the next step is to go to the controller, the rotate um, tool here that we want to be be the controller for it. Let me zoom out so we can see it. And uh, I'm going to rename this so that we don't get confused. So I'm going to call this left eye brow on underscore C N T R L. Um, that's basically control for short, um, our controller. And uh, let me rename, let me copy this, and paste this for the group name as well. Left eyebrow control. Well, let me just change the name to, con well, let me leave it at that, right? Uh, so yeah. So the next step is to click on the control or the rotate layer and in its properties, you want to, where it says amount, you want to right click, convert and click on scale. And then we're going to open up that scale group there. And uh, the scale is basically, it, it tells you by how much you want to rotate this point right here before you see the next shape within the group of the, the left eyebrows, right? So I like using 30 for some reason. So I'm just going to type 30. So when I rotate it by 30 degrees, then this will switch, right? Uh, but we won't see anything until we connect this to the group. And to do that, first we need to click on this link, right click, convert, and we need to convert this to an integer. Then open this up and where it says link here, we want to then click on this in the library here and we want to connect these two. So I'm going to come over here, right click, connect. And now they are connected. So if I should rotate this, we see the shape changing. But if you rotate it all the way around here, you won't see any shape because the, we only have three shapes for us to see, right? So the more shapes you create, whenever you rotate by 30 degrees, you would see those shapes up here, okay? And we're pretty much going to do the same thing for the rest of um, these here, okay? And actually, I think I could have saved time by just doing this and then duplicating um, this one, but uh, that is okay, right? Sometimes we do things the hard way, sometimes we do them the easy way. All right, so let me move this over a bit here. All right, I don't want it to be in the same position as this, uh, but we can wait until we we're finished, then we um, actually position them on the screen. All right, so we're onto the right eyebrow. And uh, I'm going to just copy this, paste, change this to right, R-I-G-H-T, uh, lowercase, R-I-G-H-T. And I'm going to copy this and rename this to the same thing. And now I want to go to my right eyebrow here and we're gonna export this value. And remember, as I said before, we need to convert this to an integer and then open this up and I'm going to export this value and let's call this value right underscore bro following the same thing that we have here. So bro underscore shapes. So right bro underscore shape, oh, oh, underscore shapes. Okay, export and we have that set up. So let, let me just select that one from, from now and I'm gonna to come to my right eyebrow here 
amount right click uh, convert scale open this up right click convert integer oh wait let me actually undo that i want to change this to 30 before uh, actually i could have changed it without removing that conversion there all right but uh, for some reason <laughs> i i'm regressing but anyway right click convert integer open this up link make sure that you're on the right bro and not the left bro and then right click connect okay and remember as i said before i could have saved time by just linking one and then duplicating that and then you know re uh, reconnect it to the specific layer but we went ahead and did it this way so we'll just continue uh now this one so we have both oh let me test this out to make sure it works all right so that works let me undo that so we have the left on the the right bro <clears throat> all completed let's work on the left eye so i'm gonna call this uh left eye and now this is going to be real confusing because some if i when i name this sometimes i'm going to look at this and then I might get mixed up as to which one is the eyebrow and which one is the eye. So I should have, I think I should have called this one eye, put the eye in front, like eyebrow left and eyebrow right, and then le um, left eye or eye left. But anyway, it, it, it is what it is. Um, we already started doing this, doing it this way. So let me continue. So this is the left eye underscore control copy. I don't want to ramble on too much and distract from what i'm teaching here uh okay so i duplicated that and what we want to do now is go to the left eye here and do the same thing right click well actually let me change this back to the original value so we start off at the default value right click convert integer open that up link export value and we're going to call this well right eye right underscore eye right underscore eye and if you wonder if you're wondering why i keep using underscores um it's an habit from when i used to do uh programming so yeah anyway export right eye is that the right or the left oh no that's the left eye my bad let me redo that undo export and uh, left underscore i shapes yeah export all right cool so we have that uh i should have called these shapes shouldn't i but then the name would be long i think i'm going going to go in and rename them afterwards but uh okay so we have left eye shapes here and we have the left eye control here so let us do this conversion here scale uh, 30 right click convert integer and link this to the left eye shapes here connect and do our test and there we go right and that is working out really really well okay so i like that that is good that is good and uh let me just rename these um for now because it's really going to um affect me i think i have ocd or something <laughs> but anyway uh eyebrow let me go eyebrow well left eyebrow underscore shapes underscore control well, let me actually call these shapes and call the outer um the outer layer control so i'm gonna go here well let me copy this like so copy and come here eyebrow underscore paste and remove the control at the end and this is really silly because the names don't really matter but um, I just want to be all organized, so let me remove that. Left eye, left eye shapes, control um, for the eye. Left eye shapes, yeah. 
uh, right eye, right eye, bro. Okay, you know what? Let me add shapes to these right eye, bro. Shapes underscore shapes. Okay, right eye, bro. Right eye, bro. Underscore shapes. All right, so we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, so let me move on to the. Let me save first. Always remember to save. And uh, let me move on to the left eye now. So let me close these up. And uh, I mean the right eye. Close these. Let me just rename this to right. So that's right eye. Copy that name and paste it here. All right. And uh, let me go to the right eye here. And let me just change this back to the default, which is zero. And I'm going to right click, integer, open this up, link, export this value. And uh, we're going to call this right underscore i underscore shapes. Okay. And uh, click on this one, right eye shapes. And then we go back to the right eye shapes of control. And uh, you guessed it, convert to scale, open this up, change this here to 30 or whatever you, you choose, whatever value you choose, and uh, integer, then link the both of these, right? Always remember to click on the correct one, all right? So link, connect. And then let me test this out and see what we are, what we are working with. And that is working just fine working just fine okay that is good all right so we have those all set up and the next one is the mouth I believe so let me just go ahead and do that real quick uh, let me call this mouth underscore shapes underscore cntrl short for control copy this open this up paste that name there okay and uh, I'm going to just convert this to a scale here being that we're here we are already here and uh let me just change this i'm just going to convert this to an integer and then we move on to these so i'm doing it in reverse then i'm just going to go to the the mode layer here and it's already at the default so i'm going to go to z range position right click convert integer open this up and export this value so mouth underscore shapes Yo, underscore shapes wait let me type this correctly m-o-u-t-h export and now we have our mode shapes there so i'm just going to click on my mode shapes control here open this up and connect the two right right click connect and now we have that going on there. And we only have two more shapes, right? So, well, I only have two more shapes, but I'm hoping that you'll create more and more more shapes for your for the character here. All right, so yeah, there we have it. That's pretty much how we go on to do the different controllers for the different parts. And uh, I'm gonna stop this one here and uh, we'll continue in our next video. So that's it for this one and I will see you in the next video.